<laughs> we'll see the better the son of the that chunk. He's he's dead, I think. He's dead, yeah, we think. <clears throat> the picture's beginning to be painted here. You competed in, with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Fuck off. <laughs> and in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cap. I'll destroy you in a sec. Grr. I'll destroy you. He's punching you know, the I'm air. Pretty sure Boral would do a great knuckles voice. <laughs> You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. Is he gonna be the cops? Yeah. Why was Vector drinking? And why is it red lipstick? Because I like to drink. <laughs> Who's he with? Knuckles, obviously. No, <laughs> like who's he meant to be with? Um, Espia. In the library. No, that doesn't make sense. Espia doesn't wear lipstick. I don't know. Right? The mystery unfolds. But that's also what there's three cups. Yes. Now, Jake Gyllenhaal, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? <gasps> My huge gonads. <laughs> My huge cock. No! <laughs> I didn't want him to know I wore lipstick! <laughs> yeah. I thought it was strange there was more than one cop sitting next to you. Well, while you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade! It's... I'm... it's not like... it's not... I wasn't... Uh, don't... don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. What are you, a fucking radio host? No one says top of the hour unless you're on a TV show or radio show. <laughs> he's fucking... I know this more because I'm in a radio course. He's Vox. He's Vox. <laughs> and I'm giving him kind of Vox's... No, not really, but yeah. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When, we, when he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in, honestly. I didn't want to be caught. And that's why my story and alibi I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. They do, actually, yes. Well, that <laughs> explains one of the used cups. But one of the cups with the lipstick mark. Rouge was in here, too. Sex. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She searched around for something but failed, made fun of our game and left. Obnoxious, that one. Then why are you guys fucking? But you offered her a drink, apparently. Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, we're on the same scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quit. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back for something to something I notice. One more name on that high school list. Doesn't make sense. Jake Gyllenhaal, can you take a look one more time for me? An odd name on the high school list. What's Taz talking about? Old them. Yeah. Nah, it's candy. No, it's Alton, because the ultimate life form. Shadow. No. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I didn't know you knew. <laughs> I was making numbers. I was like, how he made his name? Nuck. Yeah, Nuck. <laughs> Nuck. All the other names have a food theme, but this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Jake Gyllenhaal, but there is someone here that goes by that by the title, the Ultimate Life Form. It's the barista. <laughs> he looks like a barista, not a, not a lot. It's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name <laughs> on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone, then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. 
So an Amy came through here not too long ago. Did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her the special birthday key. Well, I have a lot I, well, I have a lot of questions. What happened to the library to cause Vector to come here? Why are Shadow locking doors and what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me, even though I even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. I just realized I have a natural cowboy accent. I didn't have to try so hard. <laughs> Shit. I like Knuckles from Sonic Boom. Yeah, I wish I could do that voice. I can't. It was that, that was um same same voice. Him and Sonic were the same voice actor. I don't know who he was. I just like him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's incredibly stupid. You know. Yeah. Approved. <laughs> yeah. And it's like the playing soccer. Yeah. You know, pointing out those stereotypes actually makes to belittle them. <laughs> what, what was it? What, what was well, it? just because I'm stupid doesn't mean I can't be a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it? And what was the um? What was it? Here, give him this. I don't think babies can eat solids yet. Now put it in the burner. If you say so. <laughs> Not the baby. <laughs> Sonic Boom was such an underrated show. Oh, it was. Uh, it's so also funny. Fucking, um, uh, Sonic would always say, he's like, kids can be so cruel. Beat him up. We had the one in the yard. Sonic, the, Knuckles, that's prison. Same zone. <laughs> Same zone. <laughs> More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As, as of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library's in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Jake Gyllenhaal. Let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. I hope so. Jake Gyllenhaal! <laughs> Coming. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the coke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> going. Coming. Ready to mosey down to the next car? Oh, dang, <laughs> no narrow. No way, dang, narrow. <laughs> What's that for that? I guess the investigations can wait a little longer. You've talked, oh. to, you've talked to everything in here. The window. <laughs> Breathtaking views. For fuck's sake, Jake, let's move on to the next car. <laughs> this train passes... Okay, the little tongue's out the door. <laughs> I just have to be traveling at a normal speed. Oh, I get nauseous good. pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. Come on. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. Well, you could fucking grow now. <laughs> but, but, but... No! <laughs> He's in cash for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor, poor, poor Macho. Hate to see him like this. What did they do? Medical malpractice. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Interesting. Wow. <laughs> cool. <gasps> Howdy, Bondos. <laughs> Spittoon free establishment. Col Coliseum Highway Zone. Coliseum Highway Zone. Open right. to cars. <laughs> Onwards. Mm. You know, the Sonic Boom TV show is underrated. The game, however, can oh. go suck a dick. Yeah, the game sucked. <laughs> Hang Li in there. Library car. Hang in there. All this stuff's oh, getting hit. Get oh, SVS. don't put I don't need. You get to hear SVS poems. <laughs> Uh -huh. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Andy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I've heard it out, you've been fabulously helpful. Oh, right, that's me. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> before you go, SP and I wanted to give you our present, your presents. My presents? <laughs> you weren't too sweet, thank you. My presents is right here. <laughs> Dick and balls. <laughs> you got three some. Mm, Vector, it seems we have more guests. Mm. <laughs> mm. Amy, there you are. <laughs> Have you found any leads yet? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl. Huh. She knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you all around. 
Well, we've been talking about dick. Yep. <laughs> dick is too juicy. Crook out, dick's great! Don't worry, Sonic, I'll be the one to avenge you, and quick! But how are you gonna leave? The doors of the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Dumbasses. Right, right, the birthday girl gets the birthday key. And the birthday and the birthday girl, the birthday key is gonna birthday privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh, yes, the birthday girl, the birthday gig, it's a birthday key, has a birthday privilege. I want to be part of this too. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you usually doing? Look at mighty suspicious I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm a... You would ask if anyone's hungry. Starved! I <laughs> I would. I would. I completely forgot he says that. I also know how much you love chicken palmy. This is I what kill for chicken palmy right about now. <coughs> Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. I'm Vector, the butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. Don't ask why I'm in the library! <laughs> And I'm Espio, the poet. With a very clearly gay guy. I have a license to handle raw meat. Excuse me, I'm not gay. <laughs> I have a license to handle raw meat. Excellent. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from the poet to read it to make the challenge our delicate perspectives. With the most rhythmic of prose, please stop coughing. That voice makes me need a cough. Oh, then don't do it as aggressively. Can I hear some? Uh, sure. Uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La la la. Dee 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 dee. Waddle dee? <laughs> Was that it? I have more if you'd like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm not as satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming. I suppose. <clears throat> Jake Gyllenhaal and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leaving the dining car? Oh, sure. It's simple. We just explain this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through this library car. Where Amy told me and SPO to stay. Probably I picked a book off the shelf and made my... Me. Fuck! I probably picked the book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knockers was up to in the in the saloon car. Yup. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stand on a cup of the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to the search the saloon car. She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, "No way!" at the brochure stand over there, but she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. What was she found? She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge, uh, I'm gonna up my accent now because I realised I was sounding a bit too blasé. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why was Shadow been locking doors? Ah, uh, maybe he's. Locking himself in the closet? It might be something to do with the fact that he's the fucking locksmith. Fuck, Sherlock. I skipped the line. Sherlock, you can't go back. Oh, well, I'll never know what I said before this line. <laughs> he insisted on showing us up at, monkey, at Super Monkey Ball. I was so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. As he walked through the library car to the casino car, again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car, where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived, asking questions. She's the one that told us someone was murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector and Espio, or Espio, couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. 
Thank you both for your cooperation. cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and, if you'd like, and if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered too. Thanks, guys. This alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that prove that what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for, li for leaving his post and determine if SPO was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Serenade me. Fancy a poem? Oh, Space. I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase, but a mistake in my haste dropped the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. Why was that one good though? What caused you to drop the vase? Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. <laughs> yes, the theory has it. Um, can I think your order? I have a poem about this. <laughs> My starved stomach baffled. I thought, though I ignored the grumbling tummy, for the eggs I received are scrambled, and I asked for my eggs sunny. Oh, well, um, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you, lot. Give me another one. <laughs> Fancy a poem. What will it be? Trains. Locomotive in motion. I think I lost my lotion. <laughs> Whoa! Shut up. <laughs> the window shows the ocean. Oh wait, there's my lotion. <laughs> he really likes the ocean. <laughs> he really likes the ocean. Well, it's imagine he's like writing this poem. He's like, shit, my lotion. Oh look, the ocean. Oh um, shit, my lotion. <laughs> thanks. I actually really like that one. Huh? Oh, fuck. Okay, now we're good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's. <laughs> he just is like, like, give me a poem. <laughs> right now. Hang in there. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there! <laughs> wow, I really needed to see this. <laughs> this little chow's hanging in there, refusing to. To use his wings to fly to safety, because Susan the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this child can stick in, into those principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way there was that much thought put into this poster. Right? Brochures. How would you know? You're just a waiter. <laughs> Ooh, brochures! There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Jack Journal, look at this. There's a cut there's a there's a couple maps here. This is the map of the library card. The books are categorized by China, which are listed here. I'm sorry, I got a late light <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Library map is added to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave too? Look, there's... Nah, I'll leave it. I just realised how similar sense. our voices are. Yeah, sounds Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the, fair. The fucking pinnacle yeah, stuff. I just didn't have to say it. Yeah, I just yeah. realised our voices sound very similar. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Shit. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Or my voice. Guy. Shit. <laughs> Um, Hen. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I don't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Devil. Ha, huh. let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me right in the mood to read. Puts me right in the mood. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. <laughs> in fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Take your home home, don't fall asleep! Me, 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 me. There's been a murder, remember? <laughs> Fight a ring every time a murder ruined my nap time. You'd be married. Yeah? To one person. Uh, books. 
so many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. Sadly, I have no interest in picking up these books. Then, what's that spirit gonna say next time? Ah!